It's going to record the video to show you how I add that guardians to the picture. I don't know what happened with Facebook and don't let me see my uh, tools here. So I'm just going to do it here and post it. Um, so we saw the other video how to create toning and how to send them to Photoshop. So for you to use those guardians and see it here, you need to open your um, libraries. In libraries, um, you want to have probably, if you don't have libraries, you want to see IMT folder here. So if you go um, here, you, this is the, 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 the screen, you're going to go up here and you want to create a new library. And in this library, you want to name, for example, mine, I name it Guardians. So you name it and you put create. I'm going to just create one for you to see how it looks. It's going to look like this. So when you go to the uh, Adobe Color and you go and open an image and then find your colors and then you're going to go to your right, as I told you, you're going to find the folder that you name it in this library. And then all the colors that you save in color Adobe Color are going to be in this folder. So I have mine already here. Okay, so the only thing, the, uh, the way that I use it, uh, the guardian, the, the gradients are for toning. The color wheel are usually for me to have palettes of color so I can see different combinations. So I can use it for uh, clothing, for my custom, for my customers, uh, how I, I combine, combine the, the colors between the clothes. And I, it's, it's very helpful for me to have visual a look to the colors before I start doing a session and pick the right colors and these ones I use for my editing so if I want to add one of these toning guardian tonings I just create a new layer empty and just click in one of them whatever you like I click this one and it's gonna show you this that all the tones that are in this palette so if I you want to change this uh, you just double click and then you're gonna open a new window and then you're gonna see here um, what kind of style do you want. You want radial, angle, reflected, or diamond. So I usually go to uh, radial and you can reverse if you do, if you want the, 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 the light tone in the middle on you can change the opacity as well. And I mean, it's depending what kind of picture you have. And then I only click OK and then change the mode from normal to soft light, hard light, overlay, depend, depending what how amount of color you want to add. But then I start from zero and I start adding the toning to the picture. And then you can add difference uh, in the same picture. It just depends on what kind of look do you want. And you can put more pink on it. And more, you know, you 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 can do it in the same layer, or you can create a new one and then start adding more in the top of it. So you can do the same thing. Just double click and then change the style, change the reverse, and change the scale. And if you don't like this dark in the middle, you can change it for probably more bright tone in the middle and I mean it's, it's, it's all about what kind of picture you're doing um, if I pick the tone I usually don't change it but you can do changes here in your guardian so uh, then you just click OK and you can it's still working like that and change this to overlay. I mean, soft light is always work for me in these kind of pictures, in these kind of guardians, because the light is in the middle and you actually can um, can move it does the, the light. You can move it, whatever you want to, to, to put in the middle. Uh, this is another example if you want to do it in all outdoors. 
So make sure you save as many as you can in your library, as many as the guardians that you like for different kind of pictures, so different kind of colors, and then you can use it in your own. I create a new one, and then probably this pink, or blue, or green, and you can make it that way, or leave it like that, and not change the style, and then just change um, the you can do multiply to to make it darker but just low the opacity and then keep adding more guardians it's, it's flexible you can you know it's the pen of you but the point of this for me is that you guys save palettes in your in your photoshop because they are very helpful when you need it and um, it's easy to click. You don't need to go to filter or find another color balance or whatever when you can have guardians that you can use. So I feel like it's a good tip for uh, Adobe to create this. And this guardian is new, so you can just play around and find out if you like it. And um, just try it. I mean, I'm gonna do these for example, but I probably like more light here in the middle or here, and then I can invert it like that. I mean, you can do different uh, things with this um, load opacity and double click. If you want to move the uh, the effect, if the light is in the middle like I did in the other one, so okay, so it's, that's all. I just want you to show you that, and I hope this help you a little bit with your pictures and Tony. All right, I hope uh, you everybody is fine and hugs to everybody, and see you next time with any other tip. Wow. Uh -huh.